the Finland native, like the rest of her dancing on ice peers, has suffered in training. Today saw Sarah reveal how the extent of her injuries has prevented her from sleeping. The X Factor star appeared on BBC Breakfast this morning where she chatted about her time in the ITV competition so far to hosts Naga Munchiti and Charlie State. Naga asked the singer how she was coping with the bruises sustained in training. It's quite awful. I couldn't really sleep because my rib is hurting so much, Sarah said. Charlie then asked, was it a number of falls? To which Sarah replied, no, my partner Hamish, Gaman, we have this one lift where he is having his arms around my ribs and he's really strong and sometimes it hurts. Nago asked Sarah is she expected it all to be so hard going, she retorted, no. No 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 no. I was like yeah I used to skate a little bit when I was a child, so I can manage this. No. It's so terrible, it's difficult. Despite being from a Scandinavian country, Sarah confirmed it was no advantage when it came to skating. She said, I'm not naturally very athletic so it's hard for me to find my lines and I'm not very flexible. It's not my thing, I'm trying my best. Sarah's efforts appear to be paying off as her routines have won praise from judges. Last Sunday in week 6, she and partner Hamish finished 4th with 31 points from the panel, although she has been in one skate-off so far, all four judges picked to save her over Diddy Con who was eliminated. Due to the nature of the competition, the celebrities often find themselves needing medical attention. Jane Danson shocked a few weeks ago when she collapsed on the ice before a live show. Luckily she pulled through and was able to perform with partner Sylvan Longchambon. Sylvan has since divulged why Jane fainted, stating that it was due to her tea. Dancing on Ice continues Sunday at 6pm on ITV.